Hello, my name is Cher Pastore and I'm a registered dietitian and certified diabetes educator with CAP Nutrition LLC in New York City. A dietitian has many different roles and it depends of course on where you work. You could be in either private practice, you could work in a hospital setting, you could work in a nursing home as a dietitian, you could be a consulting dietitian to um, a large organization like maybe General Mills or Kraft Food. Basically, what you're doing is you are the food and nutrition expert. So you are responsible for disseminating information, for providing information to any type of uh, patient's needs, if the patient needs to lose weight, if they have diabetes, if they have high cholesterol. You are the expert, the person who is there to tell them what they need to eat, what they need to do to control their medical condition. If you are working in a hospital, you are responsible for all the patients on your floor. If you work in the intensive care system, in the intensive care unit, you have to um, calculate parenteral nutrition, which is nutrition through the vein. You have to make sure the patient is getting their nutritional needs met, or they will be at serious risk for um, life compromising things. Nutrition is the basis of everything. It's so important what you eat, what you put into your body, how your body performs, and a dietitian can help you disseminate all the information and help you to lead your best life possible. A dietitian faces challenges on a daily basis, challenges of the person, of helping the people meet their nutritional needs or achieve their goals or anything that they might want to do, especially when it comes to weight loss. People are very resistant and they don't know how to make a change, so it's extremely important for you to instruct this person and take things very slow. Sometimes it's as easy as just cutting out soda, sometimes they just have to cut out juice, and then it can be as complex as discussing proteins, carbohydrates, and fats, and everything like this. Um, the challenges that one would face on, in a hospital level are very great also. Sometimes the person can't even communicate to you, sometimes um, the doctors get in the way, and it becomes very challenging to help the patient that you need to help.